So you might be in a situation where for some reason, Google Gemini is just not working. Now, this can happen for a couple of different reasons. The main reason why something like this could end up happening is maybe that Google Gemini is just taking a little bit of time for it to go ahead and basically start working. So sometimes this can end up causing some issues. The first thing I'd recommend doing is just to make sure that the Google Gemini application is fairly up to date. If it's fairly up to date, if it's been updated for the most part, then you can just try going through inside of this particular app like this, and you can try just updating it, and that might end up fixing the problem. Now, let's say the problem is it's asking, like, let's say you're asking it for prompts or something like that, for some reason the prompts aren't working or they're not generating things. Well, that could end up being the problem for you too. So try going through and just making sure the prompts that you're asking it for are properly like decent you know, prompts, because if they're not, that could also end up kind of causing a problem for your device too. Not necessarily a problem, but that might be an issue and it might not be doing a good job at understanding the prompt that you're typing it in. Now, another thing you're going to want to try doing as well is to try seeing if you can go through and see if Google or any of their servers are basically down. So what you're going to want to do here is you want to make your way over to a website like downdetector.com or is it downrightnow.com, one of those types of websites that basically shows you what servers are up and what servers are down. And all you're going to have to do here is basically just go ahead and scroll through and try to find those servers. So if those servers are down or if they're up or whatever the case is, then your best bet is to go in, is to basically go and be able to essentially you know, wait until Google ends up fixing those servers. So that's another thing you can try doing as well. If that's still not working, you can try restarting your phone. But those are kind of the main ways to go and fix this problem for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then. Thank you.